What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in a few videos you guys were asking about my microphone setup and I figured that I would make a video for you guys to show you how I finally figured out how to get the best audio and uh, the setup for the helmets that I'm using. So we're going to go over a few microphones that did not work for me um, and I lost a bunch of footage which is really a bummer. Um, so hopefully you guys don't um, run into the same issues that I did lose any footage and you guys have the proper setup if you guys want to add voice over your writing footage. So stay tuned and we'll get into it. All right guys, so before we get into my current setup on my Shoei helmet, we're going to go uh, just talk about the previous microphones that I tested and tried and unfortunately lost a lot of footage. Um, so we had a New Year's ride at the beginning of 2022. There were about a thousand bikes. It was mainly a stunt ride, so I wanted to get some cool footage to post on the channel. So during that day, I, have the, I had the Purple Panda installed. And I know it's a very popular microphone for um, a lot of moto vloggers. I don't know if I got a bad batch, whatever it is, but from what I learned with using microphones that have a coupler right here as you can see so the coupler takes the um, main connector and then converts it to a trs connector which would go into a media mod for the gopro so at the time i was using a gopro hero 9 with the media mod and then this was going into the mic jack in the rear of the media mod um, and what i noticed was that any sort of coupling, if this thing is loose, if it twists, if there's any vibration right here, you are going to get a lot of static, you're gonna get um, interference, and I pretty much lost five hours of footage on that New Year's ride. So, like I said, I don't know if I got a bad batch of the Panda, but I was, very uh, upset about losing that footage and unfortunately I cannot recommend the purple panda and part of the reason is this connector right here this had this was taped on the side of the helmet I wasn't able to get it inside of the helmet but I believe just the wind vibration and um, it may be tapping against the side of the helmet even though I had it very um, very I had it mounted pretty strong on the side of the helmet with um, some Gorilla Tape, even some cushioning so it didn't move at all. I wasn't able to get good results. So me personally, I cannot recommend the Purple Panda. Others may have different a different experience. Um, the other microphone that I tried, which I actually have um, on my wireless transmitter, this is a Sabrent microphone. It's pretty much a similar setup but it does have the same coupling feature as the Purple Panda. This is from Sabrent. So I had the same issues using a coupler as well, um, which converts it, of course, into the um, TRS connector, which goes into the mic port, which this would plug into the back of the media mod or whatever you're using uh, camera-wise to record from the microphone jack. So this does work for um, the st uh, studio recording like I'm doing right now and it works well with the wireless mic transmitter but in terms of getting writing footage um, and audio over over the writing footage um, it was not a good experience as well I had crackling um, the voice was also very very loud um, to where it was clipping so I lost I don't know I think more two more rides of footage that you know, I could have used on the channel. So right now, this is primarily only going to be used for the live streaming setups. Um, and the Sabrent, I can recommend for certain uses, but I would not recommend putting it in your helmet um, as a Motovlog microphone. So the microphone that we decided is um, the Movo. ACM 400. So I saw a woman, um, I think she's from Europe, and she was using this microphone. And, you know, 
she said she had great results. I was looking for something, um, you know, that was an improvement over the Panda and the Sabrent that I could actually use to add some voice in my videos. And um, so far with about, I'd say a month of using this microphone, I have had no complaints whatsoever. So what's great about this microphone is that there is a coupler, but this goes to the old um, GoPro, uh, that big kind of thing. Um, I, I, I don't know what you call it, mic adapter that people would tape on the side of their helmets. So it does have this connection. However, we're not using the coupler. So I'm going to take off this lapel section right here. So with the ACM 400, it's a straight shot right into the microphone jack. Um, this is a gooseneck, so it is bendable, which is nice. Um, but as you can see here, there is no coupler between the microphone and the mic jack connector. So that's what I believe, at least, was causing a lot of crackling, popping, producing a lot of poor audio. Um, and I've been very happy with this mic. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below for this microphone as I do highly recommend it. Um, it's very easy to install um, and it's been great so far. So I haven't had any issues with it. So this is the one that I'm going to recommend. Um, I can't recommend the Purple Panda. I can rep, uh, recommend the Sabrent that I'm using right now. Um, for maybe some different use, you know, scenarios, but not with the writing footage. So let's get to the helmet setup. So talking about the helmet setup, I first want to go over the media mod, um, which I don't have right now because I'm currently filming with my GoPro Hero 10. I'm still waiting on my Sony um, camera in order to um, film these type of setups, but I will put some pictures up and some uh, B-roll footage of the Hero 10 with the media mod on the helmet. But I do have my Hero 9 uh, just as an example, so I can you know, walk you through um, my setup at the moment, even though I use the Hero 10. So if you don't know about the media mod, um, it's a great addition if you have a Hero 9 or a Hero 10. Um, in, instead of the big mic microphone adapter that you would see people put on the side of the helmet, the media mod simply attaches onto the GoPro and you have three ports on the back. One is a microphone port, one is a USB-C for charging, and one is a um, micro USB as well. So you can transfer your files, you can add a microphone, like right now I'm using a, a wireless microphone transmitter to put audio into the back of the GoPro camera, which is what we also do with the um, cable from the, the helmet microphone right here. So, um, and you also have a better microphone setup on the media mod. So you get the uh, better front and rear microphones, which also come with a foam adapter, which are going to be far superior to the built-in camera microphones. So it's definitely a great addition for uh, the GoPro Hero 9 and 10. However, um, something I do want to mention was while I was troubleshooting trying to find the ideal setup for my microphone is that I was reading on the GoPro forums, the Hero 9 is known to have some issues with um, microphones plugged in with the media mod. So I did get a new media mod and I tried it with the Hero 9 and I tried both microphones, the Panda and the Sabrent, um, and I still had issues. So it wasn't the media mod. I also returned the camera and got the GoPro Hero 10 and at that point I had no issues. So the Hero 9 that I have now is simply used for anything that does not require um, voice audio that is plugged in, but this is just on here for demonstration. I will show you um, some pictures and video of what it looks like on the helmet and all plugged in. Um, so it's just something to take into, into consideration. I know someone who has a um, Hero 9 with the media mod and plugs the microphone directly into the media mod from um, the helmet and he has no issues. 
So I don't know if I had a bad Hero 9, but I wanted to eliminate any issues at all and um, upgrade to the Hero 10 um, and get the new microphone. So I just didn't have any problems and that's how, how I fixed my issues. So now going into the helmet here, we are using a chin mount. Um, this is a Shoei RF 1400. I just got it a few days ago. So far, I'm very happy with the helmet. Um, it's very quiet. It's also uh, very snug, so I feel pretty secure using the helmet. And right here is called a chin mount. So chin mount um, is a company out of, I believe, Washington or close to Canada. So, I, But I'm pretty sure Washington. So this chin mount is like their company name, a chin mount. And they make these mounts for over 51 helmets at the moment. So if you have a helmet, I'm pretty sure they make it for it. And they're very, um, they're not expensive at all. And they also sell accessory kits to get a different angle with your helmet. So you can get, um, you know, the perfect angle for you. So with a helmet that's pointed down, you always want the camera pointed up and straight because your helmet is pointed down when you're riding. So you want to get that camera pointed straight up and then that's going to give you the best um, footage um, or angle of your footage, I'm sorry, um, with your chin mount and adapters. So right now I'm also using uh, two adapters from Amazon that I found to extend it out a little bit and then I plug the camera in um, underneath right here. And then um, that is my chin setup. So for chin mounts, they're, like I said, they make them for many helmets. Um, you can save 10% off by using the code MOTOVICE um, at the checkout section and you'll get 10% off your entire order. Um, they also sell an accessory kit, which I highly recommend. I would also get the long um, J hook that they also sell just in case you don't have enough clearance with your helmet because every helmet is different. So this is the chin mounts, um, the chin mount on my uh, helmet. And like I said, enter the promo code MOTOVICE, save 10% off your entire order. Uh, they're a great company. These things won't go anywhere, I'm telling you. I don't even know how I'm gonna get this off when it comes time <laughs> to remove it. But these, these things are absolutely um, amazing. So let's get into the actual helmet and the microphone setup. So right underneath your cheek pad is where you're going to run your cabling. So I'm going to get some closer up footage um, of how this kind of looks from the inside of the helmet. But basically your microphone should be sticking out maybe about a quarter of an inch from your cheek pad. So if you can see right here, the uh, microphone and dead cat, wind muff, whatever you want to call it, is barely sticking out from my cheek pad. On some of these helmets, these cheek pads do extend farther than others. So whatever it is, just back up the cabling inside the helmet. So you have, um, like I said, the microphone sticking out just a little bit for um, the microphone and the cheek pad. So now for the cabling, we ran the cabling completely so these uh, side um, cheek pads actually pop out with clips and it's pretty much the same on every helmet um, so th this would pop back from right here and also pop out from here you can slide it out if you want but for me with this microphone and my helmet I simply took the mic and I ran it right behind this cheek pad right here. So all the cabling is tucked away back here. The only cable that I left out is of course the microphone connector to the GoPro. So um, also another thing to remember or keep in mind is use your um, chin um, windbreaker because your microphone is right underneath it and as much wind as you can block from your setup um, the better your audio is going to be which is also why you would slide a dead cat or um, a wind muff over the foam piece of this microphone 
So make sure to put your um, chin windbreaker right here. This is going to reduce the wind. And because of this, I didn't want to drill a hole in, or sorry, a hole through this. Um, even though I'm thinking about it, because I'm having to run the, micro the microphone cable completely along the outside, which is a little bit annoying. But basically with the mic cable, um, I would be plugging it in if I had the media mod right here into the camera. So I'm going to show you that right here. So with the media mod, I would be plugging it in right there and then you're going to get uh, your audio. So right when you plug it in, the media mod's going to detect that you have a microphone plugged in and it automatically changes the audio um, to the plugged in microphone instead of the built in cameras. So that's pretty much my setup. Um, I'm going to get you guys, uh, like I said, some different uh, footage of my Hero 10, which is what I'm actually using, um, with the helmet actually plugged in so you can see what it looks like. But um, for the products that I recommend, obviously the Movo ACM 400, obviously a chin mount for your helmet. I would recommend a GoPro Hero 10. Um, you could take the chance with the nine, but like I said, I didn't have a great experience with the nine. So uh, due to the uh, microphone issues. So if you can afford a 10, I would say go for it. And then uh, besides the chin mount, just wiring the, the cabling up into the cheek pad, having it poke out just a little bit from the cheek. Um, you can also cut down the, uh, the dead cat or wind muff, whatever you want to call it. So it doesn't tickle your cheek while you are riding. And that's one thing I've been continuously having to do is just cut that down just a little bit on the top. So it's not tickling my cheek. Um, on my previous helmet, um, the cheek pads were kind of farther back. So the, um, the microphone and dead cat or wind muff was sticking right here. So I didn't get the tickling kind of by the side of my mouth. Um, but yeah, that's my helmet setup, and that's how I've been able to get some audio, get the audio that I get on my riding footage and my motovlog footage. So um, if you have any questions about this setup, please leave it in the comment section below. Happy to answer any questions for you guys. Drop a like in the video if you um, enjoyed the video and subscribe for future content. Uh, we have a track, I'm going to the track this week actually, um, to, uh, for two days. So I'm hoping to get some cool footage up there. So subscribe to the channel um, so you can stay tuned for that. And for all the products, that I recommend at least, um, the Movo, the chin mount, I'm going to link in the description. Also, um, the Hero 10, if you're interested in one, um, I'll leave a link in the description below. And that's pretty much it. So um, like always guys, ride safe and we'll see you next time. All right, bye.